welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I decided to make a video to show our entire NICU journey. Even though Cruz is not home yet, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what our journey has been like so far with him and NICU, not only just to catch you guys up, but we also want to help anyone that's about to begin on a NICU journey or has just begun on a NICU journey and they want to know what to expect. We want to help as many families as possible to know what the timeline may be like if you have a baby close to 29 weeks gestation or just to see how things progress or just to give you an idea of what to expect in NICU, especially if this is your first NICU baby. The NICU experience is a tough one and if I can help anyone have better expectations or feel more empowered going into it, then that's what I want to do is share and help someone else. As hard as it is for myself, if I know that I can help someone else on their NICU journey, then that makes it all more so worthwhile to me. So I hope you enjoy these little clips of Cruz's NICU experience. And if you would like to continue following along with us, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you join in. I'm gonna go ahead and put the clips in here now and I hope you guys enjoy. Hold my fingers so tight. Oh, is he? Mm -hmm. Just like all of them did. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. Oh, look at him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The nurse just removed his umbilical arterial line and we're waiting on him to kind of get some rest time before we try to hold him in a little bit. We're so excited. We hope everything goes okay and he's able to tolerate it. that you can hold him finally. I know. I feel so lucky. He'll be one week old in like two hours. Okay. Cruz has his CPAP machine on today and he's doing so well. He's off the intubation and that's one step further on the checklist of things he has to do before he can go home. He's two pounds and 15 ounces now, almost three pounds. Just gaining so much weight. He's been doing really good. He's basically been on room air with the CPAP machine, which is awesome. He's on CPAP until 32 weeks, just because they require them to be, so. It's good for his lungs. Yeah. yeah. Here's Cruz. He's so sweet today. He's sucking on his little pacifier and like moving his little hands all over my chest. He's making little noises, which is so cute to hear now that he's on CPAP. It's like the sweetest little thing. We've been offering him his pacifier over and over again to try help prepare him so that he's ready for breastfeeding when the time comes. I think we're gonna be able to once he's off CPAP. I wish I could do it before then, but I just don't think he's gonna be able to with the small amount of space he has for his mouth with his CPAP. But right now he's latched onto this pacifier. This is a Philips pacifier for preemies, and they are amazing. I've never seen them before, but if Anybody else has a preemie, I'd really recommend them. Today is NICU day 12 for Cruz, and we're hanging out here with him right now doing a little skin to skin. He's doing so good. He's still at two pounds, 15 ounces today. Right now he's hanging out on room air and he's, his oxygen is satting right at 95%. He's doing so good. We could not be more proud of our little dude. So what we're thinking is that he'll hit 1500 grams and 32 weeks on next Monday. And so when all that happens, well, my fingers are crossed that he hits 1500 grams. We hope that he does. And then he'll be able to come off CPAP and we'll finally get to see his little face. It was really hard to see him. I'll try to show you guys. It's kind of hard for us to get to see him because his hat covers most of his eyes. 
and then we can see his little nose and we see his little mouth but we also want him to have a lot of time on the pacifier because that helps teach him to like suck and swallow so we just can't really see his little face very well so we can't wait to see his, our baby's face we can't wait for him to get stronger we had to hold him for like two hours tonight and he is all comfy now after his feeding and we got him bundled back up tucked in for the night so Cruz gained another ounce and he's three pounds and three ounces and he's on room air so they're not giving him any oxygen and he's doing great. Yes, he's doing so good. I'm so proud of him. They lined Cruz's little bed with one of the blankets that we got for him, which we love. Because he can't have blankets or clothes just yet. So that little touch from home really means a lot. And he was wearing a hat that we bought him, but ever since he's been on CPAP, he can't really do that because he needs a little Velcro piece there to stabilize his CPAP. Lance is changing his diaper. Daddy of the year over here. Today when we came in, they had this cute little giraffe with Cruz's footprints from today and the date from today. It's so sweet. Our nurse did that. And then she also had this set up. It says that he is three pounds, three ounces. Wow, he gained another ounce. And he has consistent weight gain all week. Today is NICU day 17 and Cruz is looking so good. We were just sitting here admiring like, how much weight he's put on before his little thighs had so much extra skin and now he's really filled out and even his little fingers before they were so thin his fingers just look so long compared to his hands but now he's starting to look so much healthier we're so impressed with how much weight this little dude's put on it's looking so good don't you think babe yeah for sure it's starting to look like a little baby we could take home <laughs> it's almost 11 at night and Cruz is sleeping so peacefully. They're trying to hold out and wait for the doctors to make their rounds to see what they say about a CPAP. It's Nikki day 20 and here's Cruz. He's up to what, 33 milliliters on feedings? Mm -hmm. He's still on CPAP because he's still needing a little bit of oxygen. A little bit more than room air. Every once in a while he'll desat. So that's why he's not off CPAP yet. But hopefully in the next couple of days, he'll show them that he's ready. Since Cruz can wear clothes now, we're bringing him some more cute little preemie outfits. I love this one. The little bears on the feet. Hopefully we'll get to change his clothes and dress him today too. We're in the cute with Cruz and he's doing so well. He's actually three pounds and 11 ounces now, which is a whole pound above his birth weight. He's doing so, so good. We could be more proud of this little guy. It's Nikki Day 23. As you can see, little Cruz has hiccups. He weighs three pounds, 11 ounces. He's been on 22% oxygen pretty much all day. He's getting 35 milliliters for his feeds. And he's doing great. Lauren can't be here today because she still has fever and chills from her mastitis. But hopefully she'll be able to come in tomorrow. Today is NICU day 24 for Cruz, so 24 days after he's been born. And quite honestly, I've been having a really hard time after being in the hospital with mastitis and possible sepsis. I have not felt good at all. The day after I got home, I felt better than I had, but only while I'm on pain medication and then when my pain medication wears off, I have a very bad headache, I sweat, I still have chills, my breasts are just killing me. I figured by now that the antibiotic would kind of do its job and I wouldn't be having so much pain. I'm still having a bunch of problems with like clogged ducts due to mastitis. I'm doing everything that I could possibly do. I'm doing warm compresses, massages, dangling, um, pumping every two to three hours, even though it kills. I'm doing everything. And today it kind of got at an all time low. I woke up this morning feeling like I might die again. Like my entire body, when you have mastitis, you have overall aches and pains, like the worst flu ever. So that's going on. My shoulders hurt, my back hurt, my heart hurts. In fact, my heart hurts right now. 
it's just it's very strange I still have a raised heart rate too like my resting heart rate is always like 110 right now which I don't think is normal when I was in the hospital my resting heart rate was 120 and my blood pressure was extremely low which is all signs of sepsis when I went home my blood pressure was a little bit better but still it's just not normal it's not my friend that's a nurse Danny she says it's not even high enough to like get blood flow to all my organs so overall I'm just feeling very poorly it's Nikki day 24 and he's now three pounds 14 ounces so I'm 25% oxygen and he's setting really well yeah, hopefully they'll turn that down. It's like on 99 and 100. We're going to start weaning his temperature in the, what's it called? We're going to start trying to wean him from the isolate, the crib that, well, the incubator that he's in. It's like a warming bed. They're going to try to take him out of that and put him in an open crib. Right now he's at 98 degree, 98.3. Whenever they take his temperature and when he gets to like 98.5, 98.7, they'll put him in a crib. He's doing great. Join Snuggles with Mom. Today is NICU day 25 and we're gonna start doing Cruz's cares and taking his temperature and all that. And he is sleeping so sweetly right now on his little tummy. Lance is gonna start by taking his temperature. Oh I'm my sorry, baby. Good. Now I'll change his diaper and get him naked so we can weigh him and then we can hold him. Cruz is still three pounds, 14 ounces. He did gain 10, what is it, grams? Yeah, 10 grams. But that's not a whole ounce, it's like a third of an ounce. And he's snuggling with mommy again. Doing a good job sucking on his pacifier. He came out of his mouth for a second. He was moving all around trying to get it. He did a good job rooting. I'm starting to track if he's awake during diaper changes or if he just sleeps through them. And him being awake would be a sign that he's ready to start breastfeeding. Or like when they walk over to change his diaper, if he's already awake when they get here, or when they when they walk over that his eyes are open before they mess with him, that his little internal clock is telling him that it's time to eat and he has to do those things before we're able to, to breastfeed. Still yeah. just gaining weight, trying to wean from oxygen. They said he desat it a little bit during the night last night. That while he was sleeping, he was just sleeping very deeply and he got down to like 40, which has never happened before. So she had to track that deceleration in his data. Desaturation. Did I say deceleration? Mm -hmm. She had to track that desaturation in his data to report to the doctors, so. Um, Currently he's on a little bit higher of oxygen than he has been on, but hopefully he'll wean down and that won't happen again because it's only been a one-time thing for him. Cruz and Jenna have the most hair out of any of our babies, if you can believe it. Cruz has just as much as Jenna had, but I think Jenna's hair was lighter blonde yeah. whenever she was a baby. And I think most of hers fell out pretty quick. Yeah, but Cruz's eyebrows are like non-existent and Jenna had... Um, defined eyebrows I guess you would say his are really blonde I hope we see some progress soon with him leaning down on the oxygen so that we can start feeding him moving forward this mom is ready you've been feeling better today oh yeah I have been feeling better today for the first time in days it's I been haven't... was it Friday that we went to the ER I think so it's and today's there's not been one time today that I thought I was dying. And, and that's today's been, what, Tuesday? Today's Monday. Today's been the first day since I've been sick that there hasn't been one point where I've questioned if I was going to live or die, literally. So I haven't had any of those moments today. I think I'm finally getting better and the antibiotics are kicking in. Thank goodness. Also, he's been regulating his temperature a little bit better. He's um, He just needs to... 
wean down a little bit more, less than one full degree Celsius before he can be in a crib, which is awesome. I know, I can't wait till we walk up and see him in our crib. It's gonna be great. He has Ezra's ears and he has Ezra's little belly button too. And Ezra's belly button is kind of like, it's an innie, but it's almost an outie and none of his brothers- It's like flat. Yeah, it is, it's flat. And none of Evan, Brady, or Jenna have the same belly button, but I think Cruz might have the same belly button that he has. And he has the same ears that Ezra has, so Cruz like a and Ezra bit, are gonna be buddies. A little bit flat on top. Yeah. And it's funny because Cruz and Ezra share a room, or they will share a room, so. And they Ezra, both have Z's in their name. They do. Ezra will be excited to see that. All right, Nikki day 26. We had a little bit of a surprise when we got here. He's in an open crib now. There's Cruz, he's wide awake. Mm -hmm. My mom's changing him. Putting on a onesie for him. He's four pounds, one ounce today. First four time pounds. He, first time he's been four pounds. We're so proud of you, honey. He's in an open crib. Looks like a real newborn. Yeah, he's a real boy now. Are you? And he was doing some good feeding cues today, like he was awake more and he was rooting around for his pacifier stone, so that's good news for hopefully beginning trying to latch him soon. He's doing good with his oxygen. That sound you hear is him high satting, which is great, meaning they can turn down his oxygen a little bit, which he's almost on room air as it is. Yep, and then they're going to decrease the pressure at which he's getting his oxygen too, which is another step toward him not having any oxygen at all. So keep up the good work, Cruz. We're proud of you, honey. Today was a good day. Today is day 27 for Cruz. He's doing really good. He's about the same as yesterday on everything. He's still in his little crib. He's doing well tolerating his temperature and regulating that himself and right now he's setting really high hopefully he'll be able to wean down some on his oxygen soon and progress to feeding four pounds two ounces so day number 28 Cruz had his eye exam today to test for ROP um, he came back okay they determined that he's in zone 2 stage 0 which basically is like barely there, if the at all. The mildest form of it. Yeah. It's just a little unfortunate about his ROP because none of our other children have had it at all. Right. And they've received oxygen, so they've been extremely lucky. Yeah. So we're hoping that... Of course, he's been on it for weeks and weeks longer yeah. than any of our others, but... ROP is what we've really been worried about for his oxygen, so... Yeah. We hope it doesn't get any worse. Right, so okay for now, but they're going to retest in two weeks just to make sure it's not progressing at all. He's doing good on oxygen today. He's high satting and doing a good job. Yeah, we'll and he's on, he's on a lower percentage than he has been, so mm, see we'll if we can wean him some more tonight. We're trying to get him to two liters so that we can breastfeed, so yeah. he's so close. It's day number 29, and Cruz is so awake today, so alert. Whenever Lauren picked him up, he was actually trying to latch onto her arm, which he's never done that before, so that was really cool. He's four pounds, five ounces, almost six ounces. Yeah, five, five seven. ounces, seven. Yeah. 5.7 ounces. Yeah. So awake. He's been looking all around. He's looking on his pacifier, his big boy pacifier. I know, he's got the newborn one, the man one that we gave our other kids when they came home from the hospital. He loves it. I saw a little app that they give us so that we can monitor him at home, that they've been giving it to him all day, so he's doing really good. And also he got a new bed today. It's like more like a crib instead of his little tote tray that he was in before. Seems to be doing better with his oxygen today. Yeah, he's on 25%. He's super stable. Hopefully, we can get him down some and maybe move down the liters per minute as well because he seems to be doing really well. So that's all good news, Cruz. Good job, baby. He's really holding his head up too. Like when his arms are up by his face, he can push himself up and like push with his feet. 
and hold his head up for a little bit and have some tummy time with his head off my chest so he's really becoming like an actual newborn it seems like instead of just being so premature like and he just has sleeping been. all the time yeah this is his new little crib he's all tucked in for the night sweet baby cruise what day is today? Day 30. They said he gained two ounces, is what his doctor said. She called me earlier and said that he had gained a lot. And that was from last night's measurement. So until they weigh him again, still four pounds, five ounces. I'm sure he'll be more tonight. Today was a big day for Cruz. Why is that, babe? <laughs> it wasn't a big day, but we did get to try latching him for the first time as far as breastfeeding goes. A non-nutritive latch. Yeah, and he did okay. He was pretty sleepy at first. It's not really his time to eat. He still has about 45 minutes from the time we were trying until it's his time to eat. So maybe that'll be more helpful when he's actually hungry. And maybe he'll want to latch more. Yeah, but he did latch three times on one side. So we're super proud of him and then um, he went into this little sleepy coma that you see here. So we're hoping that we can have some more progress in that area, but if not, then at least we're trying and he can try to learn in the next few days. So tired. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky day 31. Not a whole lot of change today. He's still gaining some weight and still working on weaning from oxygen. He's at about the same place with his oxygen as he's been for about a week now, so. And today's Father's Day and Cruz made Lance a Father's Day card with his little footprints on there. That was really cute. My baby boy. Today is Nikki day 32. And this little baby was able to latch for 15 minutes, which is awesome. He needed 10 minutes earlier today, so he's doing so good. He's officially a month old now because he was born on May 17th and today is June 17th, so. You sure it wasn't March 17th? Okay. <laughs> it's May 17th. You always say March 17th. You said March 17th the other day. <laughs> Stop. He's doing good on his oxygen. Still weaning, doing a good job. Yeah, he's doing really well. I'm proud of him. He's been alert for more today than he ever has. And he's been rooting around and latching on so good. And just been so alert. It's like he's a grown baby now that he's one month old. In 34 weeks gestation. This is exactly how old Evan was when he was born. Evan was born at four pounds and nine ounces and today Cruz is four pounds and eight and a half ounces. So very, almost very exactly, similar. Almost exactly the same. But it took Evan about three days to learn to eat and to learn to latch once he was born. So Cruz is doing really well. Sweet little baby. He's just hanging out, not much change from yesterday, but he's doing really well. We can't wait until we get this little dude out of here. 32 days and the NICU has been tough. He's precious though. Just sleeping away. We're on our way to the hospital right now, but I just want to kind of update you guys on what's been going on. So since I've had mastitis, not this past Friday, but the Friday before, my milk supply has severely dropped. And so eventually I ran out of the breast milk that was at the hospital for Cruz and I couldn't be ahead of his feedings anymore. So originally I was bringing in enough for that day and some of the next day. And then when I got mastitis, my supply severely dropped. It was, it was just terrible. So because of that, eventually I got behind on his feedings and he was 
able to have donor milk until he was at 34 weeks. He had 34 weeks two days ago, and when he hit 34 weeks, they didn't tell us, but they began giving him formula whenever they didn't have enough breast milk. And what happened was, I did bring enough breast milk for that day, but they make his feedings for 24 hours in advance. So because I was behind, he didn't have breast milk enough for 24 hours. So they gave him like two feedings of breast milk and the rest were formula. So when I came in and saw formula bottles all around my baby's area, I got a little upset about that because they didn't tell me about it. And I actually had a friend that offered to give us donor breast milk, but I said it was okay because the hospital was giving him donor breast milk and they never told me that they were gonna automatically remove him from getting donor breast milk. And I don't know if there's a shortage or it's just automatically what they do. I asked them about it today and shared my concerns with them and they made a note that they'll never do that to another parent, that they'll always let them know ahead of time because I told them I would have brought breast milk ahead of time and now my friend's on an RV trip with her family and so I can't get breast milk from her. So it was really unfortunate that my baby had formula without my permission and he's been spinning up with his formula as well so he's not tolerating it as well as he did breast milk and I honestly didn't want him to have formula, not that there's anything wrong with formula but he's a breastfed baby. And so now I'm finally, finally catching back up on his feedings. I did order some emergency lactation brownies. I've been drinking body armors like crazy. I've been eating oatmeal and oatmeal cream pies. I've been drinking more water. I've been increasing my calories. I've been power pumping. I'm doing literally everything I know to do, everything you can do, but mastitis is a beast and it hit me hard. Like it was terrible and I didn't feel good enough to get out of bed except to go to the NICU for five days. I just had those flu-like symptoms it was terrible and I did pump but it was just so blocked my breast ducts were so blocked so that's what we've been dealing with but we're bringing in more breast milk for the second time today and we're hoping that we'll get him all back on track and I can get him strictly to breast milk in the next day right now I think he's gonna have to have one feeding in the next 24 hours that is formula or at least fortified with formula but that's okay, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because I know I'm gonna get back on track. We just pulled up to the hospital and we're gonna go see him for the second time today for NICU Day 33. And we're gonna do some non-nutritive breastfeeding, which is just like him latching on to empty breasts. And that kind of helps promote my milk supply as well. And that's all that they're able to do with him right now because he's still on three liters of oxygen. And once he gets down to two liters of oxygen on his nasal cannula, then he'll be able to breastfeed like normal, they say. We're so excited for that. Oh, good. Oh, bless. Oh, bless you. Cruz is getting so big. You can see his little tongue coming out. He's trying to latch onto his hand there. He's awake. Put your hands down. There he is. <laughs> That's all I have for now. You're all caught up on our NICU journey. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you yourself are going through a NICU journey or just finished a NICU journey and you find yourself watching this, please leave your story below because that helps me feel not so alone in this whole thing. And if I can help you through anything, if you have any questions, or comments or you just want to talk you feel connected and then please leave it below because I would love to hear that from you I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye